Is recording? Is recording? Is recording? <laughs> Hi guys, um, and welcome to Sarcastic Fish. I'm your host, Emma, and this is my guest, Ophelia. Hello! Nice to meet you! What is your channel called, actually? Ophelia Ver. <laughs> no, it's, it doesn't have a name. It's just, it's just my name. <laughs> um, this is Ophelia. Her channel is linked below. How exciting! This is a collab, and she's like an actual YouTuber now. On today's episode, we will be discussing why virginity is an outdated con concept, construct, both really. We'll be focusing mainly on the West. We can only make the judgement within our context. Um, okay. The way we'll be selecting this is we'll be talking about the historic value of virginity and why that basically cancels out why we have it now. virginity is basically to do with marriage and inheritance and the fact that you could not prove as a man who your children were because obviously a child knows who their mother is because the mother carried some literally his birth them but that doesn't mean you can prove who the father is. In the English language um, the word virgin first appears around the year 1200 um, which it makes perfect sense because around the year 1200 is when we first have in, in England we f I'm saying England rather than Britain because different law um, we first have uh, the formalization of inheritance and we first have the formalization of Salic law because before then it's a bit more complicated so it makes perfect sense that around the same time that we have a more formalized feudal system we are also going to have the word virgin appearing. You just want a more of assurance that your money is going to your child. And your property and your name and your title. There's that aspect of it and there's also that you don't want to have competing factions and you don't want to have to divide your territory by accident and that sort of thing. Virginity is part of the inheritance problem. Also then if a child is born in a, like an official marriage, especially when you have like, because people, oh, historically we've used marriage, especially in upper classes, to consolidate power, to consolidate like um, allies and stuff, yeah. things like that, which is then you want that child born. Yeah. And you want to know that it is your heir. Yep. And that's why, like, men that have mistresses, but those children do not count. Right. Because they are not legitimised within a marriage. Yeah. And it's always very controversial when people have legitimised their heirs. Because, so, for example, oh, that causes yes. just inheritance, like, yes. yes. Yeah. Because then you have more people having a claim yeah. to the throne. Yeah. Which is where, so, something like the Wars of the Roses, for example, Henry. Or Game of Thrones. Uh, or Game of Thrones, which is based on the Wars of the Roses. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and that's why I can't watch Game of Thrones, because I'm like, this is just lazy history with dragons. <laughs> but that's the best. <laughs> anyway, no, well, Khaleesi is Henry Tudor, um, and really she is very attractive. Virgin didn't originally. How do I phrase this? Virgin didn't necessarily mean virgin. Virgin meant as much to do with sexual inexperience as, uh, like, in a general sense. And so you might use, uh, in the same way that you would use maiden, or um, which then you have, you know, Shakespearean maidenhead, maiden, maidenhood. Yeah, but it's like, there's, there's, a joke in, there's a joke in Romeo and Juliet about yeah. maidenhead. Oh, it's a sword joke. Yeah, yeah. Phallic, we live in a phallocentric society. <laughs> Can see Nelson's column if you're not. I'm going read about Nelson's column joke. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, look, you can see Nelson's column, and then I was like, oh, about a centric society. And not only that, but you also have um, the Latin word, word I don't know how to pronounce Latin. Um, we well, you don't pronounce Latin. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it like is originally related to botanic imagery so things about flourishing and green no, 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 and like so off. that line in Hamlet where Polonius says to Ophelia you'd be nothing but a green girl is quite you know that idea of green and inexperience and virginity they're all kind of they're all they're all connected to the yeah. same they're all the same family um, I just think it's really backwards when you start when they start like associating being a virgin with ideas of Purity and a right. So this is where I guess why they wear a white wedding dress. So then virginity, because it becomes something that's important, it then becomes something that is protected by law, by religion, concepts of honour. Okay, historically virginity does have a value in terms of like legitimising heirs and legitimising marriages and stuff like that. Hence like, you know, Catherine of Aragon's, oh it's got very sunny. There's the whole ritual that happens with someone like Catherine of Aragon when they're trying to prove her virginity. Prove her virginity. What does that even mean? <gasps> oh, wait, no, 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 you know some, you know some people, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's in some cultures where women have literally go to plastic surgeons and have their hymens like re... But the hymen, ah! no, no, because also people's 
hymens don't break! People's hymens don't break! Your hymen doesn't break! You it's don't, right, bad! Right. You should not, okay. You shouldn't, you shouldn't bleed. bleed! You shouldn't bleed! You shouldn't bleed! You shouldn't bleed! So it's all a lie. <laughs> and so when they were like, you know, we have the virginal blood of Catherine of Aragon in these sheets, therefore she oh, can. Oh, when they fly, when they fly, oh, they fly the bed sheets. They fly the bed sheets. Oh. You just think, no! <laughs> How dare you not turn her on before you penetrate her? <laughs> How dare you? So... Yeah, more boys could use that. Well, it's... Communication is great. We can understand its historic value in contrast with today where most of us don't have to deal with inheritance problems. Yeah. The idea is that historically it does have a value, but because now we don't, you can prove who Father is a biological test, we have contraception, and our inheritance laws are completely like, different, that there, we do not have a cultural value to virginity. It serves no function, but it's still like leftovers. Yeah. Because it's something that we still maintain socially. Like, why is, why is your virginity important? Especially female virginity. It shouldn't be important in the same way that like you shouldn't have a pressure to lose it in the, and, and you also shouldn't have a pressure to keep it. You're not mm. keeping or losing anything. The word we discussed, the worst term we think for losing your virginity is deflowering. De <laughs> 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 it's so gross. It's so gross. Because it's the idea of you're, the idea of you're taking something beautiful and pure away from a girl because you're, st cause you're stuck a dick. <sighs> the concept of virginity also didn't take into consideration is if you are LGBT and especially with concepts of gold star lesbians and um, the where penetration happens with penis and vagina. Yeah, that is losing your virginity. So even even I think in my in my opinion, I, I feel like Anal sex isn't as thought of in the in the same. Yes, because I know some people who say like, uh, "Have you lost your virginity?" No, but I've done anal. Right, which is like, I mean, and, and this is where if you if you if you want if you care about the idea of virginity, which you to, which uh, yeah, I mean, I don't want to tell people how to live, but virginity. It's, it's very heteronormative, basically, is what I wanted to say. The idea is that now you have, like, whether you're a virgin or not, it does not change you as a person in any way. There's one thing I remember very specifically of when, like, I lost my virginity. I was on a walk, like, with my ex, we were like, walking his dog, and he asked me, and I remember so, like, so specifically, he, like, asked me, like, how do you feel in terms of, like, do I feel like a completely, like, do I feel like a woman because I've had sex? And the answer is, you feel no fucking different! <laughs> You don't! Yeah, and and like, apart from maybe, especially the first time, maybe a bit disappointed. Like, that, that's that's maybe the only thing that you feel. Because let's be honest, as ladies, we won't have orgasm the first time, so like, probably quite disappointed. Um, <clears throat> Female orgasm, what's that? Oh yeah. What is the clitoris, am I right? Damn it. I said this to Emma beforehand, the kind of, the question of, do you feel different? It reminds me of when you turn, like, when, when, it's like, when, you, when it's a birthday, when you turn sort of from 14 to 15 and people are like, oh, do you feel older? And for me, like I never feel older because my birthday's in July, so all of my friends had already turned that age by the time mm -hmm. it got around to my birthday. And that, for me, feels like quite a good parallel for, you know, I feel like I should feel different. I feel like there, there's yeah. a societal marker. Um, but the fact is, you never do. Of my friends that I know that have yet to lose their virginity, you put, they, they put such like... Pressure. Pressure and also they, it's like it becomes something valuable to them because yeah. you are like taught but if you're like a virgin it's something to like keep Some societies like well even in the west still teach it to keep it safe and that it is something valuable yeah, It doesn't exist. It's not there. To it's not a thing. To. It's not a thing. No. It's a completely socially constructed idea It just, It's yeah. so stupid. It beyond stupid. It's just that it's very harmful uh, in that it can it, it's it's seen as such a staple of masculinity to be this very... To take, no, no, to take somebody's virginity. To take somebody's virginity and, oh, I hate it's the not, language like, surrounds it. Oh, it's like, why do you, would you say to take someone's virginity? It's like, it's not yours to take. <laughs> the idea is like, <laughs> you have to take something away from a woman because you shag her. No. no. You might have given me a nice time. You might have given me something. You just give me disappointment. <laughs> 
there seems to be, well, yeah, I think it was a race almost. Yeah. To lose with, like, I was saying there was a race to lose your virginity. Yeah. But we place far too much value on it in a different way that we used to, and now it's like your own self, like your virginity becomes part of your own self worth, or the idea where you still have it, or if you have yet to lose it. Mm -hmm. And especially people get very, very, people get very sensitive about the idea that if they st like, are like, and they still haven't lost their virginity. Which is crazy! We're only 18! I know, but then the idea that there is something wrong with them, or they are not desirable in the same way that other people are just because they haven't had sex. Yeah. The expectation is, you lose, your, and also, not that you're losing your virginity, you're not losing anything, but, you, you know, you, the, the way that you, lo you lose your virginity with a person that you love, um, and, you know, probably around the age of 18, but that might be a bit late, and, um, but then past that one time, sex is just fun and doesn't really matter. I just feel as though if we were to see sex a little bit more as a physical activity rather than something that has got such an emotional weight, yes it can have emotional weight depending on who you're having sex with, but it's not the be all and end all. Yeah, it can be a serious thing and it can, oh, yeah, it can so sex should be taken like seriously, but just not, so if we remove the judgment, that's what I'm trying to ask yeah. for. Like we can still Complete see- Complete sexual liberation! Please. Ah, that's the answer for everything. Okay, great. It can still be seen as something serious and something important, but that shouldn't be the be all and end all. It shouldn't be the be all and end all, and it shouldn't make a difference on how we judge people as people. Yes. That's especially, if, especially like I said before, if you're basing your self worth on the idea that if you have not had sex, you are not desirable. Mm -hmm. Because I think people do in that. Community. But that's like that's very much a internalized societal understanding of what sex is and being desirable is. And that's kind of perpetuated by the idea of virginity. Yeah, completely. So if we just got rid of virginity, because be because virginity is the mark, also the kind of the basis as well. Like you know, second base can be all the orgasms you need. You know. Wait, how do you count your bases? Oh, I first base is kissing. Second base is fingering and hand jobs. For what fingering is all? No, second Third base is always boobs. Oh, that's why you went like that. I mean, some, people, went, yeah. some people can orgasm through their nipples. nipples. I pitched my. I it. pitched my. <laughs> Good. I aspire to be one of those women. Um, Don't we all? Yeah, I think so. I hope so. To in conclusion, historically, virginity did have a value purely because people like because of marriage and because of inheritance laws. Now we've still got like the get leftovers from that, but in a world where we don't need that because we can prove who baby daddies are and we have contraception, which is, you know, an important thing. And more than just we don't need it anymore, it's actually very harmful because it's very caught up in our understanding of gender and expectations for age and expectations of relationships. Expectations of ourselves and self-worth. Uh, uh, yeah, so, which is complicated and wrong. Yay! <laughs> So we have filmed a video on Ophelia's channel <laughs> about um, bilingualism and the Flemish language, which one of us is an expert in. Come and find out which one! <laughs> like, subscribe and all my jazz. All of Ophelia is linked. All of Ophelia. <laughs> all of Ophelia is linked below. Why not just take all of me? That's not the last one. poke. Click. No. Like, subscribe and Like, subscribe and all that jazz. See you. Soon. Is that it?